<clears throat> okay, I'm gonna do this video. I just had some popcorn and drinking me some tea. Noise at the studio. I gotta go pick her up real quick. But I wanted to do this video. Make sure you join the Discord. It's gonna be down in the description box below. I'm doing this video because Recently in Tacoma, unfortunately, there were a group of folks who were in the street doing street racing, right? Drag racing, whatever, downtown. And some folks surrounded the police officer here in Tacoma, and the Tacoma police officer just drove through the folks. And there were... Folks afterwards, possibly Antifa or I don't know who, who were rioting and protesting and all that type of stuff, right? And I had a whole lot of people, not just on Discord, but everywhere, ask me, you going to do a video about that? You going to talk about Antifa? You going to, there are certain, there are certain words that if I never heard ever again, I'd, I'd be like this. If I never heard of liberal or libtard or Antifa, I hate that word Antifa. I hate it. It's, it's used so much. Probably because I'm not very political. I guess that's why I just can't. I can't. I hate that word. Uh, stimulus. I hate it. <laughs> I hate those words. I just, it, it it drives me bonkers, right? I'm not a very political person, right? I am someone who in the past worked for the federal government. So I do believe strongly in the federal government. I just do. There are certain things that are completely messed up. Absolutely. And I'm not someone who is an echo chamber, I don't, I don't necessarily have to agree and believe the same way that you do. And likewise, you don't have to agree and believe everything that I do. And just because you have a belief that you firmly believe and there are people around you who form that echo chamber, that doesn't mean your beliefs are even right or correct or morally sound. But that's okay for you to believe that way and vice versa when it comes to me or anybody else. I said it today to a good friend of mine. I'll say it to, I've said it before. Everybody, everybody has an opinion, just like they have a butt with a hole in it. And sometimes that opinion may stink or not, but you're entitled to your opinion. That doesn't make it the end all be all. It doesn't matter. And that's the problem is that we have people who go down this tribalistic rabbit hole of whether it's Antifa, whether it's the Proud Boys, people wanted me to talk about that, or whether it's all these other different groups of folks. And you know what I'm worried about? is money. I don't care about Trump or Biden or uh, uh, Jimmy Hoffa. I don't care. I, I care about money. At the end of the day, that's what I, that's, that's my game. That's what I care about. I don't care about Republican, Democrat, none of that. What I care about is greenbacks. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's what I care about. I care about starting businesses and, and growing those businesses and doing different things. That's what I'm about. This year has been a banner year so far. It's great. Last year was great. This year is great, better. So that's that's what I'm concerned with. Now, you may have your own views. And, and as I said before, people's views are based on how they're raised, what they've seen in their life, what they've experienced, all of those types of things. That doesn't mean it's the facts or truth in terms of outside of that. It's just that's how you view things. The same thing goes for me. So just because we disagree doesn't mean that there's a problem. Where there is a problem 
is when people try to push a lie. That's when I have an issue. When you push a lie and you know it's a lie or you push an ideology that's kind of scary, that's when I disconnect. Now, when you do that, that's when, and I've had people over time that have pushed that type of thought and that's, they can have their opinion, they can have that view, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to be a part of it. That's when I disconnect. But just because we disagree on a lot of things, I have many people I can list that we've went hard in the paint about different topics and we disagree with, and yet we still are buddies. You understand? Like, I'm not delicate. I can handle a conversation. I can handle a difference, but I also expect the same. I don't expect for someone to be, you know, butthurt if I say this is kind of the way that I see it. But I'm not someone who really goes deep into the topics that people are tr who've been asking me and asking me and asking me and asking me to do because it is a rabbit hole type of situation. If you don't, if you're not a loudspeaker for what they believe, then people will be upset about it. Or they will keep asking questions or they'll put their beliefs down in the bottom part below. If you believe, if you say exactly what they say, oh gosh, they, they'll sit there and clap you and, and, and love it. And to me, I don't really care. Like I don't, I, I'm not saying that just to be mean or rude or whatever. I really honestly don't care. I don't care if you... Believe the same way I do or don't, I don't care. What I care about at the end of the day is making money. Again, that's that's what I do, right? It's expensive to live here. There's a lot of things about here that is very different in other places. I'm not saying other places aren't expensive. There's plenty of places that are super expensive. Along the East Coast, Miami, those places, New York, crazy, it's Boston, expensive. I'm not saying that, that there's not other places that aren't expensive, but here things are a little bit different. I've lived in all the time zones minus, well, in the continental United States, I've lived in all the time zones. Every place in this country is drastically different. It's just so drastically different. And even, you know, a county away can be drastically different. Or the city versus the county, drastically different. And amongst black folks, drastically different. People think we're a monolith. We're not. We're drastically different. There's a gentleman that I know who is at least 30 years older than I am who's on my Facebook. And he com he completely, his views are way opposite of mine. But, and he stands firm on his beliefs he never explains why he feels the way that he does. He just says, this is my... Because after you get a certain age, it's like, this is what I think. Like, like it or not, that's where I'm at. And I'm at that age of 43. Ever since I've been about 40, I'm like, eh, this is what I think. This is what I believe. If you like it, cool. If you don't, then cool. But I don't want to hear you sit there and belittle me because of the way I, the way I think. Or just be like, because I ain't got time for that. You may think that there are purple people walking around carrying green um, umbrellas. And if that's what you believe, that's cool. I'm not going to say and be like, Sigh. now in my mind, I might be like, <laughs> but to your face or to say something, you know, like, oh my gosh, or like, Sigh. I'm not going to do that. That's disrespectful and childish. That's just not what I'm going to do. You're able to think and believe how you want to. That's part of being very open minded, having a holistic view. And I explain that to people. I may sit there and, and the thing is the older gentleman can sit there and debate all day long and keep it respectful. And still, at the end of the day, he held his side firmly, his arguments firmly. And a week later, he'd be like, hey, how you doing? Hope everything's great. You know, you got to refit. That's just the way that he is. That's the way that I am. That and some people, I think, when I speak firmly about something that I feel strongly about, like I don't want to discuss these rabbit hole issues, that some people are like, oh, that comes with age, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not trying to downplay anybody or be mean. I'm just saying, I guess, with age, you're kind of like, 
You know, there's a lot of things I've seen. I know that people are very, very, very different. You know, and we may have, people may have different political views, but they may have the same moral views. It's just, you you never know. There's so many different combinations and pieces and different things that people have dealt with, been with. You know, it's, it's like things are different. People had different type of parents. Some people grew up with their grandparents. Some people grew up with one parent, two parents. Some people grew up with five parents. People have different views and who was in your life and the experiences that you went through, that is what shapes who you are and how you view things, right? We're not going to be the same. Hope everybody understands that, right? The uh, So therefore, it's kind of pointless to discuss some of these topics because there are videos that you'll find. Hold on, I got to blow my nose. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. So there are videos that you can find on YouTube that will validate your beliefs. This channel is not one of them. And if that is what you want, you're going to be disappointed. You're also going to be disappointed. There are people who actively want to come and live in Seattle, Washington or in the area, the Puget Sound region. This area is probably the most liberal place in the country. I'm just, I'm, I, I'm, I'm being, keeping that a buck. There was someone who made a comment that said that um, something to the effect that the politics of Tacoma, the, the city I'm from is Bowling Green, Kentucky, and they said that Bowling Green's politics is miles ahead of Tacoma or something like that. That's their view. Now, if I was butthurt, I would just block the comment, block the person, delete the comment. But I didn't. That's their view. That's what they believe. But I would also say that this is not the place for them. There's a lot of people I grew up with. This They would be completely out of their element. My sister. That's a safe one. My sister's cool. My sister, this would be, this would be at, living here would be out of her element. It just is. Even with my sister, we have way different views. And we grew up in the same house, same parents, everything. We're 14 years difference in age. She's 14 years older than me. But that shows you right there. We have way different views on a lot of different things. A lot of different things. From religion to, to, to guns to everything. We have way different views. And we were raised the same. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's okay. It's not like we get mad and not talk. <laughs> it's it's not that deep. You know what I mean? We had different experiences. She's from a different generation. I'm from a different generation than a lot of folks. You know what I'm saying? So it's different. But... I'm definitely not going to talk about some of these rabbit hole type issues. You know what I mean? Because they're going to go, it, for one, it brings out the venom of people that I don't like. I don't like negative, nasty uh, things. I don't like that. I'm not into that. I'm not into the, the back and forth and just nasty, mean comments or none of that. I'm not into this, the images you saw at the Capitol. That, that disgusts me. Like, that hurts. I'm just not into that. And there are people who are and, you know, whatever. But that's just, to me, that's just, that hurts. It's disgusting, in my view, in my opinion. But when it comes to here, it is very much going to be a culture shock for people. And I tell folks, Seattle is not the place for everybody. Just because you like it because it's beautiful or it fits this or it fits that or you love all these different things, Moving here, if if you're not like the older gentleman that I talk about, he's an older black dude on Facebook. If you're not like him, where you can just kind of let it roll off your back and, you know, you don't like the, the political element that's here, but, you know, whatever, then it's you're going to have a rough time because it's not so much just the politicians who are that way here. It's most of the people you walk around are. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not like what you think. Trust me, I came from Bowling Green, Kentucky. The Confederate capital of Kentucky. And I can tell you, 
living in different places here is way different in terms of just the view way different way different and you know like <laughs> albuquerque way different than bowling green and indianapolis where i lived in those two places way different and, and much more liberal <laughs> much more but here whew, i mean honestly there's liberal like Denver. So let's say Denver is here as liberal. Then there's San Francisco, which is right about here. Seattle is probably about here. San Francisco's here. Seattle's about here. There are things that you can do here that you can't do in San Francisco. And that's a pretty darn liberal place. Pretty darn. Here is way beyond that. There's some things that are so liberal that I, I'm like, I don't, I, don't, I don't rock with that. You see what I'm saying? My views are all over the place. It depends on the situation. depends on the topic. But again, I don't go and just spout my views necessarily to people because, again, your view is pretty much your opinion. It's how you were raised. You see what I'm saying? It's it's the life experiences that you have. And most of the time, people don't care. But here, most of the people you come in contact with, I have not in the seven years, we've been here for seven years, Seattle and Tacoma, I have yet to come across a person who is conservative or even mild, like in the middle. My, I have a friend in Albuquerque who is conservative and he's kind of mildly, not even like him, not even a Mitt Romney. I have not, I have not found one. I'm not saying that they don't exist. They do. There's a lot of them, but I just, I just haven't. Most of the people I ran into are not. Now, are there people who are, and I don't know? Sure. Sure. Of course. I know of maybe a couple that probably are, I suspect are, but I don't know. I mean, again, they don't just sit there and say, hey, I believe this way. That's just not how it works, right? But other people, you just, just think, you could be talking about sunflowers, and all of a sudden they'll start talking about something, and it's like, whoa. And they, they bring up their beliefs just freely. And you're like, yep, you're on this, you're like, you way over on this side. That happens. And again, if you aren't into that, because <laughs> where I'm from, it's that way too, to a degree, but people are on that other side and they freely tell you kind of how they are here. It's that way. Some people can cope and navigate, don't really care, but other people, it may not be comfortable for you. And, and it's not just within terms of the politics, it's in terms of the regulations and rules that are here, uh, the mentality of a lot of the folks that are here. There are some people who sit here and complain, like, I can't believe they keep elected the same type of people from the same party. Well, that's, that's, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a difference from Eastern Washington and Western Washington. There's a, there's a difference. You go to Eastern Washington, it's going to be more of your flavor. You come to Western Washington, it's going to be very, 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 very liberal. I don't know of any other place that's even more so. And I, trust me, I, I've, I've known some folks from San, San Francisco, been there several times, seen a lot of videos. I've seen a lot of things that people will try to do and get in trouble for here. People do it all the time. Like, it's just the, 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 the there's a very big hands-off approach on a lot of things that most places you'd be in cuffs. Here, they're like, well, it's just, it's just true. It, it's really true. So, I don't know, but I wanted to do a video talking about this because there's so many people who either A, want me to talk about certain particular topics that really and truly are gonna be off topic or off, off limits for me. Or because they feel that maybe I'm mad at what they think. I don't care what you think. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't care what you think. If you're mad at me because of the way I think, that's your problem, right? Likewise, if someone's mad at you because of the way you think, that's their problem. Now, 
are there some people who do do some people have certain views that I question judgment on? Absolutely. I'm not going to lie about that. Absolutely. You may have a certain type of view or viewpoints and I may sit there and question judgment. You see what I'm saying? That may be swirling around. But as far as saying that you don't have the right to think the way that you do, no. You know, I, I had this, you know, we were talking about this a little bit in the Discord. And I said, you know, like, the clan don't really scare me. I grew up seeing a lot of that stuff. That didn't really, that doesn't. That doesn't scare me. Those I question the judgment of those people. But that doesn't really scare me. What scares me more is the mentality of the average everyday person that's walking around. That, that, some of what you saw in D.C., that is what concerns me the most. It's not the people that, that you know, let it out there and tell you, you know, this is this is who I am. It's the ones that you don't know. It's, I mean, it's just the truth. To me, that is more of a thing. And it has nothing to do with skin color either. Because there are some who may look like me who are just as bad, if not worse. So it's not that. And there's people who are Hispanic and Asian and everybody else who are just as bad, if not worse, so I don't, I don't chalk it up to that. I pretty much just view everybody with a question mark. I see a person, I see a question mark on their head. And through time, I just kind of decide if like, hey, if this is, you know, who you are as a person, like, what are you about? That's all. Doesn't mean that you, you know, that, that you're a bad person. It just means that we have different, different set of views and values and all of that. It's something I learned in college. I forgot a little bit of it. It's about mores and a bunch of other stuff. I, I just did what I needed to to get done, okay? Got my degree and left. And Noelle, this is a tangent. Noelle wants me to go back. Why don't you go back to school and, you know, do such and such? I'm like, you out your mind. No. Once, I, once they gave me that degree that I have hanging up on the wall, the final one, because I got two. Once they gave me the last one, no. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Even if I have a job that said they'd pay me like a few thousand dollars more or 20 grand more, I'd still say no. Absolutely not. I'm done. I went, once I got done in whatever year it was, I was done. Done. Let me see. When was that? 2007? I don't know. It was early 2000s. Done. <laughs> done. But anyway, I can go on and on and on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you join the Discord, which is going to be down in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Oh, by the way, I was going to do this video on the camera, but I'm looking at videos I did on this camera right there, and it looks like I filmed out of a potato. So I got to look and see what's going on, because I know the, 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 the video I have is at night, like it is now, and I get that, but it just looks like I'm, it's not crisp. It looks like I'm out of a potato. Like you filming it through a potato with a little bit of a something on it. And maybe I didn't take the little film off of the thing. That's probably what it is. So I got to I gotta check some stuff. I was in a rush when I was putting it together. But anyway, you don't care. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I will see you. Take care.